This year we have an amazing program for rising 7th and 8th graders called the Virtual Worlds Institute. And it's a really unique opportunity for middle school kids to get behind the scenes at the museum, learn paleobiology, look at fossils, talk to scientists, and then learn how to interpret fossil evidence. So I could like make an inference that all of its teeth were pretty long and cylindrical shaped. The goal was to get the kids to understand how modeling works in general, how scientists use models to expand their knowledge of the real world. This program is unique because I think we get to both use the resources of the museum and also bring things to life that you don't get to see because they're not around anymore. We also had a really unique opportunity to go on a fossil dig and so we were able to see how hard it is to get all the collections that the museum actually has, which I think made the kids appreciate um, the fossils that are here a little bit more. Over the past couple of weeks, we've been using programs called Sculptress and Blue Mars to resurrect um, creatures from about 65 million years ago that are no longer alive. For my project, I decided to resurrect an ancient species of shark. Its common name is the goblin shark. One way that I found out about this species was collecting fossils at Big Brook, such as this goblin shark tooth. You can see how I based the long tooth structure on this tooth I collected. I chose a coelacanth, which is like a type of lobe fin fish. They're still alive today. A coelacanth has like a million fins and it does headstands and it's just awesome. I like computers and I like paleontology. This is like the perfect mix of both of them together and I just thought it would be really cool because we're like simulating these creatures in their own environments. This program, the Virtual Worlds Institute, is one of three institutes we offered this summer to middle school kids. We had the Evolution Institute and we also had the Anthropology Institute and all three are initiatives on the part of the Education Department to really offer middle school kids immersive, challenging, and exciting science experiences at the museum. Um, experiences that they can't really get anyplace else and that places them in the role of scientists. Mm -hmm.